Hi, I'm Colbray. I uh, just wanted to talk about a few things. Today, my car almost uh, died out on me. Thank goodness it did start. So I was able to leave work and uh, start heading on home. But uh, this has happened before. It's just because the um, winter has been so brutal. Um, <clears throat> it's happened before to uh, my Dodge Journey, or sorry, my family's Dodge Journey, uh, which has a button start. Fortunately, my uh, little Nissan Versa that I use for traveling uses a key, so I'm able to hold in the ignition a little bit longer and give it that juice it needs. Uh, I give it brakes in between if it doesn't catch, but uh, thank goodness for key start. Because of this brutal winter, uh, and actually uh, some previous brutal winters that we've had, I learned that we had to store the journey in the garage overnight. The uh, button start system doesn't allow you to hold it in and have it keep trying. Uh, it'll just try quickly and then shut off. And then you have to press the button over and over and over again, and it only picks it up now and then. That's the drawback of uh, button start cars. Needless to say, though, they are extremely convenient in that uh, as long as you have the key, you don't even have to play with anything in your pocket. You just press and go. Pretty handy. So, um, yeah. Just working past my issues. Make sure I don't die on the road. Don't die on the road. I can go left on this thing. There's a lot of stuff that I want to uh, provide to everyone, but I just don't have a quiet room. I, I have a confession to make. I see professional broadcasters, or not even, just people who have been on YouTube for a while. They've uh, managed to get enough money together to get soundproof rooms. I'm quite jealous. I see, uh, for example, Markiplier, that pocked background wall of his. I'm sure the rest of the walls in the room are also soundproofed in the same way. I've uh, recorded in rooms like that uh, back in high school. I know how how satisfying of a sound you get with that sort of environment plus a uh, decent microphone. Unfortunately, uh, my house is quite rickety. It makes a lot of noise. And that soundproofing can be expensive, so it's something that I'm going to work towards. Definitely can't soundproof my car. That would be dangerous. I need auditory cues while I drive to make sure that I do not die. Thumbs up to you, Markiplier, for, uh, of course, your successes. I just hope that I can uh, at least get some uh, higher quality equipment so that way I can share a lot more with people without uh, all the drawbacks of my current kit.
there's a lot of stuff that I want to contribute to the uh, public domain, just so that way people can use them in videos, movies, games, uh, whatever they want. A bunch of um, open source sound effects that I've created over time. Many of them, as I said, are just not satisfactory. Eh. Of course. Because I don't have the soundproof room, I can't go as crazy as a uh, YouTube broadcaster would if they either have a soundproof room or if they uh, well, don't have children. The only time I have to make videos is uh, in the car here, where there's tons of noise, or at home, where, uh, well, of course, I would be doing that once the kids are asleep, and uh, me yelling around like an idiot. <laughs> That's going to uh, just, it's going to wake them up. So I can't go, <laughs> or, ah! <laughs> well, maybe the, without waking them up. Say, la vie. I've got a goal to work towards. Also, um, I've noticed that there are people out there on the web sorry, on YouTube, who have uh, sort of commandeered some videos that were on my wife's YouTube channel, uh, namely the Heroes of Might and Magic town theme videos that we had up. I uh, went to a lot of trouble capturing them. An incredibly painstaking task. I had to... Uh, essentially use a virtual machine and uh, capture from that, and it had to be on an XP box because uh, I find on a more modern system they just don't run properly. It, it's not smooth, it's all chunky, the mouse is just uh, terrible. That's enough griping that way, but um, I put uh, I put my own form of DRM in a couple of videos. For example, the uh, Conflux video. For the Conflux theme, I captured it from the uh, base uh, 1.0 version of Armageddon's Blade, uh, or whatever version number that is. Just the base disk install version. And uh, it shows because the pyre for the uh, Firebirds Phoenixes is off-center. You can actually kind of see uh, where the, the mountain flips. And on top of that, I uh, put an intentional little tiny hiccup in the animation. You can't really see it unless you look really closely at the uh, part where you can summon magic elementals. I forget what that uh, thing is called here while I'm driving and trying not to die. Anyway, I'll show you an example and uh, yeah, I'll start calling people out. It's my work. I spent so many hours perfecting that technique. I don't I will gladly share those videos with you guys if you give me proper credit for the work I put in. If you don't, well, it's my effort that was put into it. It'll be, uh, I mean, all you have to do is give me credit for what I've done for what my wife and I have done. That's not too much to ask. 
And of course, credit Paul Anthony Romero. The man is a musical genius. Thank you. Good night.